Race 5 is the Goodwood Stakes. It's a 2 mile 5 furlong 0 to 100 handicap. Class 2, a small field for this one as well. Probably down to the distance, I would guess. And take back control is the top weight for Graham Clutterbuck, Super 6, Martin Lidham, Maundy Thursday, Nick Driver, Crop Duster, Paul Parsons, Mumbles, Pier, Alex Cherry, and Spinning McGarry for Jamie Hopkins. It's one of those races where they they change direction. They go one way around the course, and then at some point they end up coming in the opposite direction. But I don't really remember they're away and racing. That's a very small stand for Goodwood. So see where that is in comparison to the rest of the race. I'll, I'll, can't remember this one. This is a race that isn't normally. I don't think this one's normally on the TV. So I think we're going up the straight now, um, and we're going to then end up going the other way. Oh, no, no, I can't remember. Anyway, take my controls in the lead. Crop dusters in second. There is there is definitely a race here where they go in one direction and then they end up going around a loop and coming back in the other direction up the same track. And this is it because you just see they passed the, the three furlong pole there, so they're actually racing up the home straight the wrong way at the moment. And Crop Duster is the leader from Take Back Control. Super 6 is third. And then Maudie Thirst is fourth. They're going to go up this loop here. And then they'll go all the way around there. And they'll end up going back down that bit there. Down the straight. So anyway, it's Crop Duster is in front. From Take Back Control in second. Super 6 is third. Then Maudie Thursday is fourth. And Spinning McGarry and finally Mumbles Pier. Always a small field for this race. Not necessarily because of the handicap mark, because it's not to 100, so plenty of horses can get in. It's the handicap qualifying criteria that's the problem with it being just like two furlongs, is it, in the, on a the flat? I don't really think that's something that needs to be looked at in future seasons because SO7, the horses do tend to perform over a bigger a wider range of distances than they used to and I, I gather and I don't know back in the days of SO4, SO3, SO2 whatever it was all called the, the whole league was a different kettle of fish in those days and apparently people used to cheat and they'd like run a horse over two miles all season so it could go and win a one mile handicap later on in the season I, I get what the point of that is um if you know you've done it, then you're not really going to lie, have you? But some would say that that happens in real life, in real racing. I mean, certain trainers who run horses over inadequate trips to get a decent handicap mark, but I'd like to think that maybe the SO world is a slightly more amenable place now than it appears to be, uh, to have been then, where it was well, cutthroat, sort of like anything you can do to win, really really got anybody caught that bad anymore but it's crop duster in the lead from super six in second take back control third and then morning thursday fourth spinning mcgarry is fifth mumbles pier is sixth as they head down towards the final mile and crop duster is still well clear and super six in second take back control is third monday thursday is fourth Final seven films. Maybe I'll just throw this out here once now quickly before we get to the final five films. Maybe the advance, the the the, the imminent arrival of SO8, although maybe it's not that imminent, maybe it's gonna be next year now, but maybe that's a time to really cut ties with all that old stuff. Get rid of all that stuff about whatever, change the names of all those maiden races that are named after people who are not around anymore. Keep the keep the Moore's millions because obviously he was a bloke who people liked and stuff and did good stuff but some of those other ones they were just named after people who don't are not around anymore start afresh it's crop duster in the lead from take back control in second super six is third monday thursday is fourth those four are well clear of the other two and super six with three furlongs to go is sticking on nicely in the lead that long distance expert Mr. Clutterbuck is in second with take back control. Maldy Thursday is third. Super Six is fourth. I think we can probably forget Mumbles Pier and Spinning McGarry. Coming into the final furlong and a half. 
and it's almost a case of wind has take back control take back control and completely take the race because nothing's going to get anywhere near it to be honest this is a you like to stake your life on anybody in this race you'd have put it on a great incredible horse wouldn't you and he's taken it quite easily take back control wins it crop dust a second Maudie Thursday third super six fourth and then numbers peer and spinning McGarry Pretty easy win there for the top weight. Take back control for Graham Clutterbuck. Crop Duster was second for Paul Parsons. Monday, Thursday, third for Nick Driver. Super six, fourth for Martin Lidham and Mumbles Pier, fifth or extra. You can see all those other horses on 7, 10, 7, 11, 7, 13. Take back control on 10 stone. Clearly, the class act in the race and a penalty kick win for Gray. And I don't know, maybe if a few more horses have been eligible to get in it, it might have been a bit of a race, but I'm sure Gray's not going to care because he's taken a good win there. 